Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about the flattening of the Phillips curve. In this video we're going to look at the flattening of the Phillips curve over time and this is due to a number of large changes in the macro economy. So what we have recently is a spate of globalization and the internationalization of supply chains and what this has meant is that the capacity of the economy has increased as firms can link into global supply chains and they can increase production very easy there's an awful lot of flexibility there and that has put downward pressure on prices as has developments in technology uh, particularly the larger firms such as Google Facebook and so on the type of productivity and the type of good that they offer, which is free in many places, again has put downward pressure on prices in the economy. And what this has meant is that the short run aggregate supply curve has flattened over time. So what we have here is a short run, average, uh, short run aggregate supply curve that is flatter than it used to be. And what this means is, in terms of any change in aggregate demand in the economy, so for example, if aggregate demand increases rightwards here, and rightwards again, so they're shifting to the right, showing increases in aggregate demand, increases in spending in the economy, what this shows is that the impact on prices is actually quite small and the equilibrium goes from A here to B and to C in this case and what that means is looking at it in terms of prices we go from P1 to P2 which is somewhat higher but not that much to P3 which again is only a small increase in price so if we are to take these changes and move them over to our Phillips curve over here, our short run Phillips curve, what we will see is the impact on our Phillips curve is actually quite small. So if we say that in the aggregate demand, aggregate supply model, that P1, our first equilibrium point, denotes gross domestic product one, what we could say is that that's associated with a natural rate of unemployment UN over here. So this would represent the first point on our Phillips curve, point A over here, corresponding to equilibrium A over here. The increase in GDP following the aggregate demand side change has brought GDP up to GDP 2. That will cause increase in employment and reduce uh, unemployment rates, which means that the unemployment rate reduces over here and we can come up to our new price level at point B. And finally, point C on our ADAS model shows that GDP has also increased over here due to aggregate demand increasing but again prices have only increased somewhat in which case the GDP increase is represented by a new unemployment rate which has dropped again to U2 over here and we show a new equilibrium with a slightly higher price level and what this shows in general is that the Phillips curve is flattening over time. So if we go through our points here, it is flattening rather than the traditional Phillips curve, which has a steeper slope and which would show more of a trade-off in that case. So our traditional Phillips curve showing a higher trade-off between unemployment and prices, whereas our new Phillips curve based on our newer globalized and uh, more technologically advanced conditions. This new Phillips curve is flatter and it means that policymakers have a better trade-off between inflation and unemployment in that case. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.